It doesn't make sense. Every single poll on the internet indicated that the crab should have won, and not by just some small margin either, but it seems like 50% of people voted for the crab. 5 million total votes, 1.5 million more votes than last year. That's a lot. So how did the armadillo win, and by such a significant margin as well? Well, when rumors first began spreading that the mob vote was bottled, I was very skeptical. But as it turns out, there is strong evidence to suggest that the mob vote may have indeed been exploited. Let's talk about it. One player in the Minecraft Bedrock community named Determinated decided to make a bot that allowed you to vote in the mob vote through Discord with a linked account. This worked by sending a request to the database Minecraft Bedrock users called the PlayFab database, of which would return a session token. With the session token, you can make another request to PlayFab to gain an MC token, a token normally used when you begin a Minecraft session. Once you have this MC token, you can manually send a request to the voting API to vote vote for a specific mob, which is what was done, and you can see players voting through the Discord here. However, this is where the exploitation would be discovered. Determinated uses PlayFab often when creating bedrock programs for a variety of other things, including checking a user's marketplace purchases, mine coin balance, and more. A while ago now, while looking for an efficient way to log into PlayFab, as Xbox login tokens expired too quickly, and by the way, Xbox tokens are what's normally used when logging in and accessing PlayFab, he discovered something with iOS devices. When logging into PlayFab through an iOS device, the iOS device was not considered to have a valid device ID, and instead of giving you a session token for your account, created a new account for you and then gave you a session token. This meant that if you sent a request to PlayFab through a supposed iOS device, you could effectively generate infinite MC tokens. Now you may be thinking, since PlayFab handles many of the other features of Bedrock, how could such an exploit go undiscovered for so long? Well normally while you can get an MC token with just an iOS device, you would need further Xbox authentication to do anything else, like making a purchase on the marketplace, thus preventing exploitation. However, likely due to an oversight, you were able to send a Minecraft mob vote with just the MC token as authentication, no additional Xbox verification required. And since you could additionally generate infinite MC tokens with the method of sending a request from an iOS device, this could be a big problem. A big problem that even the penguin got more votes than my subscriber count. We need to change that. Hit that subscribe button. No pressure. Anyways, upon realizing this, Determinator decided to create a version of the original voting bot that could infinitely vote, as a proof of concept. He showed it to some friends to display how cool the concept was and display the flaw he had found. But his script was leaked, and malicious users eventually got their hands on it, modifying it. Now I'm no developer and I don't understand anything about code, so bear with me here. But according to Determinated, who I talked to, they modified the memory to make the program seem more legit. This is because when you send a request for an MC token, the memory of the account can be used as an identifier, so them randomizing it with this formula makes it harder for logs to detect exploitation. Furthermore, they also added randomness to the time at which the program's functions were called, basically meaning there were slight delays and differences in the times at which requests are sent to PlayFab and votes are sent to the API, making them seem more realistic. They also changed the user agent, which is a string that determines the identity of the sender. They changed it from Determinator's user agent to the Minecraft launcher, which means that the votes are received from the Minecraft launcher. With this, they were able to choose a mob and then effectively generate infinite valid voting MC tokens, and now all they had to do was choose a mob and bot it. The malicious users now had their chance to change Minecraft history forever. Amongst the group, they had an internal vote, determining who they believe should win the mob vote, ultimately deciding on the armadillo. And they ran the script, tracking the votes as they were sent. However, they weren't the only ones who had gotten their hands on the script, as it was leaked to another group. This group decided to bot the vote in favor of the crab. I should mention that this was all supposedly happening in the final hours of the mob vote, and as such, these groups didn't have as much time. Additionally, one of the original developers named Optic Spider Ant, who worked with Determinated, would report that there was malicious behavior going on to a Minecraft Bedrock developer. 
By the end of it all, Team Armadillo supposedly had botted over 3 million votes, with Team Crab botting almost 1.3 million. But this is where the story doesn't add up. According to the Minecraft official Twitter account, there was only a total of just over 5 million votes, with the Armadillo receiving roughly 2.1 million of those. So, how is it possible that these users are claiming to have added so many votes to the totals? It doesn't make sense. There is an explanation though. As told to me by Optic, there was a high likelihood that a significant number of the votes were either rate limited, which means that a large number of the requests received were limited by the voting API to prevent DDoS attacks. As such, there's a good chance that many of the votes did not in fact go through or be counted. Furthermore, there's also a very good chance that Mojang caught on, especially after the issue was reported. In fact, this was actually later confirmed by a Minecraft developer, who stated that the team was aware of the attempts to taint the vote, but also mentions that these attempts did not impact the results and that this year's mob vote winner was legitimate. So it's clear that there are some inconsistencies in everything going on. So I'm going to present you with some evidence and leave it up to you guys to decide if you think the vote was botted or not. Let's start with the evidence that indicates the vote was botted. Number one, this mob vote received a total of over 5 million votes, which is 1.5 million more votes than last year's mob vote, which in total received around 3.5 million votes. Over three and a half million Minecrafters. Could this be that the drama caused this year made individuals more likely to vote and brought more attention to it? Well, it's uncertain. The only metric we can look at is Google Trends, which seems to indicate that this year's mob vote wasn't as popular as the last, but that is far from concrete. Number two, many polls online on various platforms display that not only was the crab more popular than the armadillo, but was so by a significant margin. And like I mentioned, this of course was the result across multiple platforms with multiple different YouTubers and individuals with different followings and audiences. Number three, even including the fact that many of the votes likely were rate limited, if you factor in the roughly 1.3 million supposed crab votes that were botted and the over 3 million that were supposedly botted in favor of the armadillo, but reduce the totals by a lot, it still does somewhat line up with the percentage distribution the mob vote finished on. Number four, the fact that a developer even acknowledged that the vote may have been externally influenced may indicate that the botted votes did in fact work, although Mojang became aware of them. And why was it only acknowledged in an exclusive discord? Why wouldn't they just make a public statement? Alright, let's now talk about the evidence against the notion that the vote was botted. Number one, while yes, the mob vote did in fact receive many more votes this year, that could be due to the supposed inclusion of Chinese votes in the total. This is unlike past years and maybe why we saw an additional 1.5 million votes. Furthermore, Google Trends isn't always necessarily representative of the number of users who actually voted. Number two, while it is in fact true that many polls indicated that the crab received almost 50% of the vote, there were polls, especially from less invested Minecraft audiences and even other demographics, that indicated that even the penguin was favored by some. So once again, these polls aren't entirely representative of the Minecraft player base. Number three, who's to say that the botted votes even went through in the first place? While all the code was verified by developers to be legit and functional, what if the voting request just didn't end up going through or was in fact blocked by Mojang? Jang. And finally, number four, Mojang may still be in the process of investigating the botting and we may get a public statement sometime soon. Additionally, they may not want to cause further outrage on Twitter. Overall, it's up to you guys to decide. Personally, I believe that some of the botted votes did end up going through, although not nearly to the degree that was claimed, and I believe Mojang caught on and stopped it from going too far. But that's just me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.